Okay. Dann äh, gucken wir uns noch den dritten Teil an. Da bin ich ja mal jetzt gespannt. Aber es ist wirklich mal interessant zu sehen, wie jemand, der wirklich da einsteigt, wie das da aussieht. Man vergisst das über die Jahre ein bisschen, wie wir angefangen haben. Also ich glaube, jeder hat mal irgendwie zumindest für einen Moment Nvidia Surround benutzt. Komische Monitore gehabt, seine Finger nicht ins Lenkrad gesteckt, irgendwas nicht laufen gehabt. Was kommt denn hier jetzt? Phil's back from vacation, so real camera work being done now. Hi. <laughs> It's weird, you took a vacation without us, so some affairs. NZXT's Build is a quick and easy way to get a new gaming computer. Build a gaming PC on your budget using the built-in configurator and see exactly how your favorite games will perform. Don't want to spec it yourself? Then choose from BLD's pre-configured player PC systems designed to fit your needs and budget. To see the full lineup and specs of the NZXT BLD Player Series pre-built PCs, follow the sponsored link in the description below. Yeah, we're still dealing with the simulator. Um, we gotta, we're gonna move the arms. Some, like we figured out what we did wrong on the arms. Anyway, that's besides the point. The issue we were dealing with, so no matter what we do, we can't get the screen to work. All we get is red LEDs all the way across the tack and then the screen lights up, but it won't connect to any. Schön, darauf habe ich gewartet. Any of the software, we've gone through all of the troubleshooting that we possibly could for this. We even switched out the wheel because we thought it was bad, um, but we're getting the same thing with this one. So it's frustrating. And we were right. Phil cannot drive this simulator rig. All the way forward. Hey, you know what we can do? Because we have Maybe the- I can Because we have the, um, the dual clutch one, we can just make hand controls for you. The right one's gas, the left <laughs> one's brain. So it's kind of funny too, given the health stuff I talked about recently, Phil came back from vacation and he gave me a one one million, like a million times larger than actual size red blood cell. I think he needed one. Actually, it should be much smaller still if it was mine. And a one inch by one inch cubed chunk of iron. Pure iron. So I figured, just, you know, just... <laughs> Did you fix it yet? I want to play. I also feel like the, the overall mess in here because we still haven't cleaned it up from when you were gone and when we had to like put this stupid thing together. I just feel like it represents my life right now. <laughs> so will I das Büro nicht verlassen. Mm -mm. It's just very like, we just put stuff where there's room lately. <laughs> just, we'll deal with it later. <laughs> Firmware update on GSI. Okay, so it's working now. Oh, well, it's off now. We got it working. There was a There was another firmware update we had to do. So it's all working now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the screens in. I know you guys are sick of hearing about this rig, me too. But we're gonna move the screens in, get these. These are Whoops. These pieces right here off the upright and get them over here so we can bring them in narrower. Then we can get the screens more to the side like they need to be, which would be nice. It won't take as much like wingspan anymore. And then what we're gonna do is when we get all that off right now, we're gonna move it out of the way. We're gonna lower this down a little bit lower. We also were gonna have, we have an extension hub to put on here. Uh, that way we can get the wheel a little closer to us because the wheel's a little far away given the... Noch nicht mal richtig losgelegt und schon alles gekauft, was man kaufen kann. Egal. Position of the pedals and stuff. Um, I, we have to figure out a way to be able to get Phil in here to drive too because I figured part of the fun today would be for us to just do a little bit of a time attack for fun. But if Phil can't drive, there's going to be some problems there. I guess we can take the cushions off the seats and like <laughs> put them in there. Only around here would it take two and a half grown men to put together one of these things. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm actually stuck. Whoa! <laughs> Nick, I need you to help roll me up. <laughs> just, just... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my biggest complaint with this rig is like, it's so flat on the bottom. For tall guys like me, I feel like it needs like a, some sort of a round cutout or something there for knees, but this should help help with that a little bit. We're gonna lower the height of the sim or the wheel support now a little bit. But that's just, yeah, oh, come on. Also, how big is J? 1,95, 2 meter, and the other is 1,70. How soll das funktionieren? Also, I mean, when I jetzt with Andreas das mache hier. Uh, yeah, that's what all nicks. A little bit because we need to get the monitor more eye level. Right now we're looking up at it, which is weird. So we need to get that lower. But again, with my height, I can only go so low before my knees hit. So it's like a balancing act. I think if there's anything y'all can take away from this, 
if it seems like, my God, this is the third video of them talking about this. Um, there, <laughs> there's a possibility of spending weeks or months getting this stuff right. Yep. So I think it gives you one of the more real expectations of getting these things set up. Like it, it can, completely is a pain in the butt. And don't forget, we're trying to set it up for multiple people, which is never going to be perfect for anyone. Phil's the most screwed in this in this situation because <laughs> Nick and I are only three inches height apart. But there's a, what, you're five two? Like a foot and a half? Yeah, there's over a foot <laughs> of difference between you and me. And clearly the leg length is the biggest issue. So now we're trying to get the angle and the height just right for the knees. Again, this just, when you hit this, <laughs> like we were saying we should get some of that half, like the pool noodle, <laughs> like put, the, put it on there. <laughs> Did you, That's Steve was so supposed dumb. to do that? Aua, meine Schultern, aua. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it all works. And we've got the monitors now at more of a proper angle for a racing sim. Uh, that's why the audio sounds weird because it's echoing back at me quite a bit. All right, let's see how it should work with Assetto Corsa. I know it saw Assetto Corsa. I've never used SimHub before, but apparently it's a really strong piece of software for um, simulator stuff. And then obviously you can have launch different games through it and have different screen layouts and button layouts and stuff for that game, which is kind of nice. So we got a tachometer that works now. Uh, I should probably re rebind that too. Und das Kabel nicht da rumdrehen. Like it saw it, but it didn't bind it. That's like those videos where the wheel pops off every now and they're like, ah! So confused. Woo, woo, woo. We're still on. What is it? Holy. Where's my time? 127.8 again. I think I had 120, I think I 127.5 last time. The, see, the downside about something like this with using VR is you can't see any of it. I mean, VR, I, I still think is better because you can like look around and scrap, but this you can just hop in and go, right? You can't do that with VR. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here in this, right now. I gotta, I gotta go and see a man about a wallaby. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna let Phil and Nick hop in here and get some practice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and end this video. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this very, very interesting. And talking and driving in this car is very hard. I'm going so slow. Oh, that's the clutch, not the brake. <laughs> I'm not gonna participate, but it's gonna be Nick versus Phil tomorrow. And I'm gonna put a hundred bucks. And whoever gets the fastest out of, I don't know, five laps, five That's flying so laps. Okay, so it's the next day. The simulator rig is all set up and I think they adjusted the pedals and seat rails so Phil would actually be able to drive. Since we have people here, if we get tangled up somehow in the steering wheel, I haven't relocated the emergency button yet, but that needs to be moved down by the feet. That way you can just be like with your foot if for some reason um, you get tangled up. Or if you want to screw around with someone and be like, you know, push it while they're driving or something. I don't know. Was sind das denn für Ideen mit dem Fuß? Wie willst du den wieder lösen? Den musst du ja drehen, damit der wieder rausgeht. Uh, okay. Anyway, okay, I said we were going to make this interesting. So, here's what we're going to do. We got a crisp Benjamin, a $100 bill. That's not the fake ones over there, right? No. <laughs> you see? This actually says in God we trust, not in Hollywood oh, we oh, trust, yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. it is. In God we trust. <laughs> But that way, because, so here's the problem. Nick's a super sweaty tryhard when it comes to sim stuff. The reason, <laughs> the reason why I say that is because of the racing group like that he belongs to. They all do real life racing and sim stuff. Nick is probably the slowest of the group, but he's faster than average because of that. So it's not fair for Phil to be like, I am average. <laughs> he's like drives with a Logitech wheel here and there yeah. <laughs> to hop in this thing and be competitive. So I want someone to walk away with something. So second place gets 50 bucks. I'm now out of money. <laughs> Damn it! That's the other thing we decided we're gonna do because I do know I do know Laguna Seca pretty well. And I've always wanted to actually like start learning it. So this is gonna be the start of lap one. Face. Concentrate face. There's first laps to throw away. He can now have a second fastest lap. That's his fastest lap. Yeah, 132.479 was his, was his first lap. This lap's looking a little cleaner already. 
It doesn't. Ha it doesn't show potential best. Oh, his estimated lap right now, if he doesn't screw up, is looking like a 128. It's on the steering wheel. Remember, uh, Nick and I have both been down at 127 with this setup and these tires. Oh, the potential's going up. Yep, potential's going way up. Potential. Uh oh. No, the skid marks. The skid marks in his pants. His potential's at 128 right now. No, he has a clean 132 oh, yeah. on there. 127, 753. Yeah, this lap's, this lap's 133, so. All right, 127, 753 is Nick's fastest lap. I'm nervous for you, Phil. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> yeah. so sure. So Jay's coaching <laughs> session ended in a... 126, 146. What? Who asked you does I won back my 100 bucks? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So I showed Phil the lines. I, I coached him through slowly. I, sh I showed him some of the areas that he was having some trouble in. Um, the question is now, can he beat a 127 something? I'm actually just, can you go sub 130s? If you yeah, can go sub 130s, I'll really be happy. Cool, <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, focus, don't talk. I said get to the red curb, not drive over it. <laughs> Remember, stay far right, break in a straight line. Hey, you followed Nick's trail. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the first lap was a 143. That ain't gonna cut it. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Wait, wait, wait. Turn. Downshift. Wait. Turn in. Turn in. Turn in. Throttle now. That turn take feels like it takes forever, right? Yeah. <laughs> Lift. Brake. Turn. Throttle. You were a little late on the throttle. That's why it started to spin on you. But I didn't lift! <laughs> straight line brake, right side, straight line, straight line, straight line. Downshift, turn in. Straight line, roll it, floor it. Oh, aber was ein Cut, Junge. Heidewitzka. Okay, you're 130.094. You were a potential 127 until the corkscrew. All right, so that one was a 128.747. Ah, ich sehe gerade, dass der Fuß von rechts in die Mitte gewandert ist. There it is. Oh, you got really impatient on that one. <laughs> okay, this is your fourth lap. Patience, wait, 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 wait. Turn in, throttle. Oh. You know what though? That was money. <laughs> what, what, how do you feel about the 128? Though? Dude, I didn't think I could change. What was I getting? 134? Nice. Yeah, you're getting 134. That's richtig gut. Dafür, dass er anfängt. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, so I got a 126 something. So this is mine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what was your time? A 127? 743. 743. The point is, Phil got sub 130s by nearly two seconds, which makes us happy. So there's your $100. Thanks. And then you, you get. Is that your first race winnings, technically? <laughs> <laughs> so, That's so, hilarious. So you got a Benjamin, and then you get this guy. Who's this? I forget who this guy is. I don't know. You get that Franklin. guy. Wait. I would say the public education system has failed you, but you're a private school kid, so. Yeah, yeah no. It, it, don't pay for school, people. <laughs> don't All right. Do That's okay. it. That's it. We're done doing videos about this crap, okay? I don't want to do any more videos about this sh. What? Warum? Wie, wow, doch, Jay, wir brauchen mehr. Was wird denn das hier?